Hi everybody, it's the Double B Building Boudreaux back here on the WGS YouTube channel with, I guess we can call this our, you know, the week two or episode two of a cryptic promo discussion uh, here. Um, now before I get started on the video, I'd like to thank everybody who watched the first video I made last week talking about the It Begins promo and everybody who commented, you know, the video was... Um, I guess widely popular, you know, a good discussion topic, you know, good topic to talk about. So, um, again, I like to thank everybody who uh, not only viewed the video but commented on the video and contributed to the discussion. Now, um, two big names that popped up in that first video from last week, two of the popular names were Undertaker and Chris Jericho. So, it's that could be two choices, the two top choices as to you know who's really coming back and who's really behind uh, this promo but now WWE did it again and but instead of adding a new video to the channel they already have for the it's Be it begins promo they created a new channel youtube.com slash second the word second s-e-c-o-n-d 2012 <coughs> and uh, well this is what it said in the video I, I have it word for word um, it says, The power that cometh is a thief in the night to claim what others have taken, and those who are unjust, destruction shall come upon them, and they shall not escape. The second day of 2012 is coming, and it'll be the end of the world as you know it, and then the video ends with second. Now, just like in the first video, you know, the child is in the classroom, and he's writing something, or as um, Andy you know, said last night on Skype when I was watching Raw that it didn't uh, it didn't look like it, that he was actually writing anything. He looked like he was drawing something. And then a, a new little wrinkle, well, two new wrinkles in this week's video is one: the fact there's now a uh, a girl in the classroom who's sitting on a desk behind him, and then the video ends with just the word second. Now. Instead of putting, put, posting up a new video with, you know, more clues to, you know, to say, like, you know, is this Undertaker or is this Chris Jericho, you know, to me, it kind of makes it more vague. Or, or maybe and maybe not. Here, let's analyze a couple of things that were said in this video. One, that, you know, this power that cometh. Think about the way that it's talking, though. The power that cometh. Kind of like, uh, you know, ancient religious talk, almost. You know, in the way they talked, like, in Shakespearean time, or something like that, of, of that nature, you know. You know, it's a thief in the night. A thief in the night. It's kind of odd. It's, it's, it's got to be, you know, you know, that's a huge clue, you know, if it really was the Undertaker that's behind us, you know, considering, you know, that, you know, the, the Lord of Darkness, you know, creatures of the night. You know, it could be very well what they're referring to in the Thief of the Night uh, saying here. To claim what others have taken. And that those who are unjust, destruction shall come upon them. Now, it's kind of like the Undertaker coming back to uh, reap the souls of those who have been evil. Or something like that. That's the way his gimmick has always been. Is that he was, you know reap the souls of those who, who have been unjust to p uh, people in the WWE and, you know, kind of make them pay the price for it. So, um, th that might be what they're talking about. I can't think of any other person that who would be considered a thief in the night. And for those who would, uh, I'm, I'm rereading it again. A thief in the night to claim what others have taken and those who are unjust destruction shall come upon them and they shall not escape. Now this, yeah, it's kind of the same way of of telling the same promo from last week, but this week, it, I'm I'm thinking, you know, that they may be hinting towards the Undertaker, you know, maybe pushing it away, maybe from Chris Jericho. But then again, Chris Jericho has I've said on numerous times that every time he comes back to the WWE that uh, he, he's always got to have a different persona, you know, a different character, a different gimmick. I really don't see, you know, he's done a heel gimmick really, really well, you know, but as a, a dark gimmick, as a, a person who's coming to, 
you know, to make those who are unjust, to bring destruction upon them. I really don't see how he could play a gimmick like that. Now, I don't know why when I first, you know, the, one of the, the images that really did pop into my, my, my mind when it said, you know, power that cometh is a thief in the night to claim what others have taken those who are unjust, destruction shall come upon them. I don't know why I started thinking mankind. I don't know why. But, uh, you know, I just started repeating that phrase over and over in my head, and then for some reason I just started thinking about mankind. Now, I don't think Mick Foley, is, you know, is going to come back. Well, he is back, but I don't know he's going to make an in-ring return. But for some reason, that, that's what it, it makes me think of. I can't think of any other personas or any other pe uh, anybody else in the WWE or in wrestling's past who would be considered a thief in the night to come uh, come back and claim what others have taken. Now, he could mean Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho could play a dark gimmick, you know. It's possible. He's never done a dark gimmick before. You know, like a dark Avenger-style gimmick. This is pretty much the way that they're, they're portraying this to be a, a dark Avenger who's coming back to take what's rightfully his, what people have taken away from him. You know, just think about it. It's a power that cometh. The power that cometh is a thief in the night to claim what others have taken, and that those who are unjust, destruction shall come upon them. Now they can't link this to the Kane promo. I don't. I don't see how they could link this to the Kane promo when they're actually uh, airing Kane promos on TV. In fact, they did a new one just last night on Monday Night Raw. So. And then the fact that they end the video on YouTube with the second, I don't know, could that be another indicator? Could that be something else, maybe, you know, as another clue as to whether, it, you know, it, is this going to be Chris Jericho? Is it going to be Kane? Is it going to be Undertaker? So, let's look back. Um, on last week's one, on last week's one, they said there's a, a person who's coming back to take what's rightfully his on the second day of 2012 it'll be the end of the world as you know it which is basically what they said in this one and in this one it said the power that cometh is a thief in the night now jokingly andy said repo man on skype last night apparently you know that's pretty much what the gimmick was but it's a power that cometh is a thief in the night to claim what others have taken and now they're, they're adding this you know you know we've already known he, he said it in last week's promo that you know he's coming back to claim what is rightfully his and now in this week on this one they're adding that those who are unjust destruction shall come upon them and they shall not escape now that leans more towards Undertaker, in my opinion, uh, away from Chris Jericho. Not to say that Chris Jericho can pull off this style of gimmick, but the way it's being described now is that this person could be pulling off an Undertaker. And now, for some reason, another thought just popped into my head. Triple H, even though he's only been gone just for a few minutes, you know, a, a, about a few weeks now, you know, he, the game could be coming back, you know, to take back what is rightfully his. And he could be considered, you know, a thief and knife. And those who were unjust to him, think about that. Those who were unjust to Triple H, um, you know, the way they've been playing on the story now, who's the number one person who's been unjust to Triple H um, as of late? You know, we got two, there's two names that pop in my head. John Laurinaitis, Kevin Nash. Both of those names. And, and it kind of makes sense now that, you know, this is why, you know, Rick, Rick is always telling me, you know, why don't you do, you know, text blocks. I'm, I find I think better when I'm talking it out, making a video for you guys, for you guys to have a discussion about it. Triple H kind of makes sense in the same fashion. It kind of does. Because if, if you think about it, you know, Kevin Nash stabs him in the back, then takes him out for a long period of time and, you know, for an, an indefinite period of time because, you know, they never said, you know, how long is Triple H going to be out? They never did. It, it's never been said. And then uh, as soon as Triple H has been gone, it's only been almost like a month, month and a half. 
and then they start airing these promos on YouTube about a power that's, uh, that cometh as a thief in the night to claim what others have taken, and that those who are unjust, destruction shall come upon them. They're not escaping. They, they could be very well setting a date for the return of Triple H, being January 2nd, 2012. It kind of makes sense, if you think about it. Now, Undertaker and Chris Jericho, those two names do make sense to, as well, but um, now that I've... Um, you know, I'm, I'm making this video, as I'm making this video and talking it out with you guys here on the WGS YouTube channel, Triple H kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. You know, Triple H can still wrestle. He can still go. You know, think back to his match with CM Punk uh, back at SummerSlam, I believe. I think they had their match, you know, their street fight. And no, 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 it wasn't at SummerSlam. It was at, um... It was was it at Night of Champ? I, w I wish I had the information right in front of me, but it was the street fight they had. But uh, he he could still go. Triple H can still go. He can still physically go like he used to. He still got quite a few years left of him in the wrestling ring as a performer. So it kind of makes sense, you know. It, it, it kind of makes sense to kind of insert Triple H. You know, you know this is kind of a good way to actually bring him back into the storyline, you know, as, as the game, you know, not as the COO, but as the game, Triple H, to come back and take his vengeance on Kevin Nash and John Laurinaitis. I, you know, that's just what I'm thinking. You know, and just like on last week's video, I want to hear what you guys have to say, you know. Do you kind of agree with, uh, you know, my thoughts on, it could, you know, it could possibly be Triple H? Or do you guys still believe that it could be you know, The Undertaker, or Chris Jericho, or Kane, or maybe another person that we haven't thought of yet. You know, leave your comments in the comment section below. So, with that being said, I'm Double B. Billy Boudreaux, saying thank you very much for watching.